Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and welcome to my first ever MLB The Show franchise series on my channel. I'm so excited. This is the first real proper episode for the series. As you guys saw the intro type of teaser video earlier, but here is the first proper episode of this series it's going to be spring training the accusations that i made the big trades and everything that happened in spring trading leading up to opening day that will be in the next episode it honestly took me forever to decide on what team i wanted to use for this franchise series i mean i obviously didn't want to use a team that's your normal powerhouse i didn't want to use a team with a huge budget i wanted to use a team that needed to win now and i think that perfectly fits the oakland a's and I want to do what Billy Bean couldn't finish, and that's winning the last game of the season. And I feel like I can do that with a few tweaks to the team. And here you see the lineup that was made before I put my own GM touches on the team. And I mean, the thing is a very strong lineup, has some very strong players, but I feel like with a couple accusations, this team could get to the next level and contend in year one. And there's some pretty big accusations. And we obviously know there isn't a huge budget to use in Oakland, but here's our first trade. We sent a couple prospects to the Houston Astros for Evan Gaddis, who can play either left or right field. Here is the absolute astronomical accusation. We send Ben Zobris to the Yankees for Adam Warren, who can start right now, prospect Aaron Judge, and Alex Rodriguez. And also, we pick up Brock Holt from the Boston Red Sox. So that's the first three accusations that we make and we also make one really quick right here we send Steven Volk to the Marlins for a prospect so I wanted to pick up a couple prospects and also we send a few more over to the Braves for Cameron Mapin and that's the staple of what I did at the beginning of this series to kind of bolster the lineup and as you see this is what I got put together in terms of the lineup after the acquisitions I made Alex Rodriguez is playing third base. Brock Holt at shortstop. We got Evan Gaddis playing catcher, which he did with the Braves for a while. Not the best defensive catcher, but I think he'll be okay. And I like getting these kind of players that can play almost everywhere on the field. I have a very, very versatile team. If I need to end up making some more accusations near the trading deadline, pick up another bat. I have so many options I could do. Because, you know, A Rod can play first, third. Brock Holt can play absolutely everywhere except catcher. Evan Gaddis can play catcher or left or right field. So I have so many different things I can do with this team. That's a big reason I got the guys that I did because they're so versatile. And that's kind of the staple of what I want to do with this ball club is get a bunch of versatile players. And I think that will help us in the long run. And about a week into spring training, this is what our pitching rotation looks like. We put Adam Warren into the rotation who we got from the Yankees in the A-Rod deal to see how he can do throughout the spring. And we still have one more change that you guys will see very soon. And this is how the lineup's looking like at the end of the spring. Nobody really had a great spring. I mean, Billy Butler's the only Oakland A to bat over 300 in the spring. A lot of guys, are, I guess, are trying to adjust to Oakland. Because you got to realize, a lot of these guys are new to Oakland. Not only the guys I just traded for, but a lot of the guys Oakland got throughout the last offseason. This is how the rotation did throughout the spring. First two guys in the rotation, Sonny Gray, Scott, Casimir, played great. And the back end of the rotation was absolutely awful. And that's a big reason why we struggled this spring. Adam Warren, who I showed you a little bit earlier, he struggled tremendously. So I moved him to the bullpen, see if he could pitch any better. But really quick, as I said, we went 11 and 16 throughout the spring. As I show you some of the league leaders throughout the spring. Mookie Betts had a great spring for the Boston Red Sox. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the deals that I made in the comment section below. I, need, I think they're kind of interesting, especially the A-Ron deal. But I like the team that I put together. I think the biggest problem we could run into, I think, defensively, because I know, I know the guys are playing in positions that they can play, but it's not necessarily the primary position. So that could be a concern. And I think the back end of the rotation is a concern as well. And we do something really quick to try to fix that. We're sending A.J. Griffin and Cody Ross to the Marlins for 
Henderson Alvarez, who had a tremendous spring for the Miami Marlins with a 2.17 ERA. And out of all the moves that we made, I believe that could be the biggest one so far, the Henderson Alvarez trade. And that's really weird. The first three starters in our rotation all end up with a 2.17 ERA throughout the spring. And here is your opening day Oakland A's lineup. Pretty much the same that it was throughout the spring. Sent a couple guys down to AAA into the minors and here is how the pitching rotation in the bullpen is going to look i think the back end of our bullpen is going to be great with sean doolittle and tyler clippert but here spring training comes to an end so many deals were made and we're going to advance to the 2015 regular season and i hope you guys are ready for opening day that will come in the next episode we're taking on the texas rangers and it will be our home opener as well. Sonny Gray versus Giovanni Colorado as Yu Darvish is on the 60-day DL. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this first proper episode for my Oakland A's franchise series on MLB 15. The show, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like if you're excited for the series. The more likes this video gets, the quicker opening day will come out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.